Hey, I think we're live. <laughs> All right, I see a couple of people are here. So hello, welcome to my weekly live. Hi, Irene. Welcome, I'm so happy to be back with you guys. So my name is Laquita Jackson with QuitaBugHandmaids.com. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I have a very elegant uh, project to share with you today. Hi Stacy. So I'm glad that uh, some of you are popping in and I hope you've had a great day so far. Um, what else did I wanna say? Oh, I wanna announce the winner for last week's live. So uh, Danielle won last week and Danielle, I have mailed your stamp set off. So thank you again for sharing the video and thank you to everyone who shared last week's live. So I entered everyone's name, those of you that shared over on YouTube and those of you that shared here on Facebook. So thank you guys so, so much. And the winner is Kimberly S. So thank you for sharing the video, Kimberly. I have a six by six paper sampler of the uh, Botanical Butterfly Designer Series paper. This is the paper that we used on last week's live when we made the cute little bag and this is actually a celebration exclusive so thank you again to everyone who shared um congratulations to kimberly uh for being the prize patrol winner so kimberly if you can please message me your address so that i can get this mailed out to you um over the weekend okay so send me your address and i'll get that out to you so thanks again uh don't forget to share today's live video here on facebook and if you're watching over on youtube share it over there as well and then leave a comment letting me know that you have shared the video and then i will announce uh this week's winner or i'll announce the winner for next week at next week's live okay so Let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to flip the camera around and we'll get going. So I'm glad some of you are here with me and I've already got my washi tape ready. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, that looks blurry. Sorry guys. So just a little disclaimer. If it goes if it goes blurry, it's not my it's not my camera. It's it's a Facebook thing and I can't control it and I wish I could. So if it does go blurry, I'm so so sorry. Um, okay, so I just want to remind you guys I did announce yesterday evening and I was supposed to announce this at 2 o'clock yesterday But turned out they were doing work on the internet and that's why my editing or my uploading was taking so long yesterday um, They were working on they're putting in fiber optics and apparently it's being laid in my backyard Which I wasn't aware of that. So anyways um, so don't forget my new club Queen Bug free project kit is now available featuring the hey love Stamp set so super cute projects. So I did announce this yesterday um, So with a $40 order in my online Stampin up store using the host code and if you're watching on Facebook I've got the host code just above the video and if you're watching on YouTube It's probably on the screen and it's also on today's blog post Okay, so Yes, do not forget, this is available, and it's only available until January the 31st. All right. Thanks, Irene. Hi, Charmaine. Okay, yeah, so we're going to use for today's project this tin, the Darling Label tin. Um, so you guys actually watched me unbox this, a, well, several weeks ago. Um, Y'all watched me unbox this, so I've been wanting to use it, so we're going to use it today. And we are using the punch, this ugh, Darling Label punch, and then we're also using the Darling Label stamp set. I'm not using these um, ink pads, these ink spots, or this block, but you totally could. Um, but I'm not going to do that today. So today's project is really, really elegant. Um, this is what it looks like. Very pretty. So I'm going to show you how to create this this little card. So let's go ahead and get going here. So I want to do the stamping first. So I've got a piece of, what is this, Petal Pink cardstock and then I've got Lemon Lime Twist cardstock. So I am going to start by stamping the, we're going to use the little thank you image from the stamp set. I'm going to start by stamping that in Petal Pink on Petal Pink cardstock. So it's going to be tone on tone stamping 
Now I did re-ink this petal pink today and I didn't do a very good job. I over-inked it and I've been trying to kind of um, remove some of the ink because I put way too much, so hopefully it'll stamp okay. Yeah, I, I think that looks okay. So we've got that. And I'm using my piercing mat just to give this a cushion. Um, it just helps photopolymer stamps if you if you do that. So I've got my Simply Chamois here. I'm gonna clean this stamp. I love this thing, love, love, love it. I do still use my stamp and scrub, but like when I'm actively like if I'm deep in it, I just use this. Um, I use the um, the stamp and scrub when I have more time. I think the chamois is perfect when you're working quick. Okay, so I'm using Memento Tuxedo Black to stamp the same image on my lemon lime twist cardstock. Thanks, Stacy. All right, so that looks good. Okay, so I am going to, I'm gonna go ahead and, and clean this just so that it's taken care of. Okay, um, I'm gonna do some big shot work. I feel like I haven't used the big shot in a while on here. Maybe I have and I just don't remember. Okay, put that away. All right, good. So I'm gonna bring in the big shot and I've got it right here ready to go. We'll punch that stuff out in a minute. Okay. Hi, Monica. I'm glad you're here. Okay, so I've got my big shot. Oh, there we go. Now it's in there. And I am using the um, big shot platform. So this is just the regular platform. I've got one cutting plate. And then I'm going to be embossing a piece of very vanilla cardstock. Oh, sorry for all that noise. They're doing something outside across the street. Um, I'm gonna emboss this piece of very vanilla cardstock using the Garden Trellis embossing folder. This was my first time to use this folder. It's very pretty, really elegant folder. Um, so this piece of very vanilla, this is cut three and a quarter inches, three and a quarter inches by four and three quarter inches. So I'm just gonna pop this in. And I'll have these measurements on the blog post, so. Okay, lay that down and then put another cutting plate on top. And we're gonna crank this through. Alrighty, easy peasy. Okay, so let's get this out of the way. Okay, my big shot, I almost dropped it. Okay, so. Now I'm going to go ahead and bring in the punch, the Darling Label punch, and I'm going to punch this out, line that up, punch it out, and then for this piece, we're not going to punch this out. I'm just going to come in with my scissors and hand cut out just the word thank you. And this is a fun way to add color to your stamped image. So just stamp it twice in two different colors and cut different pieces out and add it on. And then you've got some extra pops of color. And I'm just leaving a little bit of a border around this, thanks. There we go. All right, so now let's start doing some assembly. Oh, actually, yeah, no, let's start assembling. So I'm using, whoop, hold on, I dropped something. Oh, I've got a lot happening here. Okay, so I'm using our very vanilla note cards and envelopes. So these come 20 in a pack. So you get 20 of the pre-cut, pre-scored uh, card bases, and then 20 of the matching envelopes. Ooh, and there is something else that I wanna do. Um, so I'm going to take this out. This is the little card uh, base, and I'm just going to fold it in half. And these measure, let's see, I thought it told you on here what they measure. No, so it doesn't say on there, but it measures 
five by seven. So these are five inches by seven inches and then scored at three and a half inches. So I'm just gonna give this a nice crease. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do for this um, embossed layer, I'm actually gonna flip it over. So I'm not gonna have the raised side up, I'm gonna have that face down and we're just gonna have this debossed side face up. So I really love how that looks when you flip it over and use the other side. And then I'm going to bring in my Whisper White Baker's Twine. And I'm just gonna cut a length of this. That should be good. And I'm going to take my snail and just kind of towards the top, add a little bit of snail adhesive. Stick this right in there. And then I'm just gonna wrap it around a couple of times. Just like that, stick it down and then just cut off the excess. Okay, and then I'm gonna adhere this layer to the front of my card base, but I'm going to use, instead of snail, since this has so much embossing on the back, I don't think that the snail will be strong enough, I'm gonna use my tear and tape. Because you really wanna make sure you use a strong adhesive when you're adhering embossed layers um, so that it doesn't peel up and raise up on the sides and I just don't think snail will do it because this is pretty embossed. Okay. Okay, have you guys seen the um, paper pumpkin kit? I saw some people posting videos yesterday of it. Oh, I'm so excited. Mine should be here probably next week I'm thinking because it already shipped. Okay, so I'm just gonna put this on the front of the card right about here. All right, that looks good. Now, if you wanted to just, um, cause I'm gonna add a bow, if you wanted to just do one really long piece of Whisper White and just tie the bow at the same time with this, you could do that. But for some reason, I like to do my bows separate when I'm using Baker's Twine. So I usually do one piece around my layer and then another piece for the actual bow. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm just gonna put this string right underneath these two strings and tie a bow off to the left hand side here. Yeah, so anyways, I'm really excited about that paper pumpkin kit. Okay, so I just want this just hanging off to the left, just like that. And then we'll trim down these ends just a little bit. I still wanna keep them somewhat long. Okay, I think that looks good. And then I'm gonna bring in my two inch circle punch and a scrap piece of vellum. Oh, you got yours yesterday, Stacy. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this kit, so cute. Irene, you've gotta check out some videos um, on YouTube for it, it's really, really cute. Okay, and then I'm gonna grab some dimensionals. And I'm just gonna put a dimensional above and below my twine and pop my little vellum circle on there. It's gonna kinda cover up your bow just a little bit, but that's okay that your bow's kinda tucked, tucked behind it a little bit, that's okay. All right, so we've got that on there. So now what I wanna do is I'm going to bring in some of the gold mini sequin trim. I think I'm gonna cut about eight inches of this. No, maybe seven. No, let me do eight just in case. Get my snail. I'm gonna add a little bit of snail just across the center here. And I'm going to lay down with the sequin side up. I'm gonna lay down these gold sequins. And I'm gonna make some little loops and tails. So I'm gonna do a little loop. Oh, I shouldn't have done eight inches. This is way too short. I'm gonna have to cut another piece, rats. Let me do 12. I don't remember doing this much on my sample though. Oh well. Okay, so come in like this, 
stick it in the adhesive, make another loop, and I'm kind of crossing over. Make another loop. I really want to keep my sequins face up. Let me move that loop over. Okay, so that's how I want it. That's how I want it to look. So now I'm going to adhere that down, here, adhere it in place with some dimensionals just to kind of keep those pieces down. But you don't want those dimensionals to stick out too far because you don't want them to poke from behind this little label. So I think that looks pretty good. And then I'm going to tuck one in right there and I don't know if I can fit one under here. Let's see. Yep, I can. All right, so that should be enough of those right there. Okay, let me straighten these out. All right, so now I'm just gonna trim this down. Yeah. Okay, so this is how it looks so far. Okay, that looks cute. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and add on my thanks on top. Thanks, Maria. Hi, Maria. Thanks, Irene. <laughs> I don't know, sometimes my fingers get fumbly and uh, I, I was having a little hard time there with those sequins. Okay, so now I'm just gonna put a little bit of a dimensional edge on this thanks. And then we're just gonna lay it right across this thanks here. And that's it, really. Except I did forget one thing that I wanted to do, but I have one ready so I can just show you that one. So I did want to stamp my envelope, but luckily I already have one that's stamped so I can just use that one. I don't know if I'm crazy about how I did my sequins on this one. I feel like I made my loops a little bit too wide. Let me see if I can squeeze them in. I wanted them a little bit more narrow. So see, if you look at my sample, you see how narrow these are? I like these loops a little bit better. I feel like these are a little bit too, they're just too wide. So I could probably peel this up and fix it, but I don't think it looks that bad. I'll leave it. Okay, so there is the card. I hope that you guys like it. I wish I'd gotten my sequins how I want them, but that's okay. I still think it's cute. It's a very, very pretty card. Very elegant. I really like it. So I hope y'all enjoyed that. Okay, I'm gonna flip the camera around. Very quick project, really. Super, super quick. Yeah, I guess it, the more that I look at it, it doesn't look so bad. Okay, let me flip you around. Okay, Woo. got it, got it. Okay, had some trouble there. Okay, so I hope that y'all enjoyed this card. Super cute, very cute card. Um, okay, thank you guys again for joining me today. Sorry that I had to reschedule for today. I hope y'all enjoyed and don't forget to share the video, comment below that you've shared it and congratulations again to Kimberly for being the Prize Patrol winner and I'll see y'all next week. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and enjoy your weekend. Bye everyone. Talk to you later.